Hey Taurus, welcome to your reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. Um, to my lovely loyal subscribers, you can see I'm back to my usual setup. <laughs> home sweet home. Um, thank you for bearing with me during those times. I know it was really hard for you to see the cards. Um, but yeah, let's see what we have here. Deception and getting to know each other and giving your relationship a chance. Okay, so it seems like somebody was wearing a false mask in the relationship. So the relationship had to break down. You had to get to know yourself again. Okay, and you'll have an opportunity to get to know each other again because when we go through these breakdowns of a relationship or somebody's being deceptive, we have to learn to trust again and learn to love again, don't we? And of course, I will leave information about how to contact me for personal readings in the description box along with what decks of cards I use. So, yeah, it seems like you know, somebody who was deceptive to you, you're going to be learning to love each other again and give each other a chance here. Work on your partnership. Let's see what we have. Working on your relationship here, giving your relationship a chance as you get to know each other again. Ten of Swords, the worst of it is over. The people you were, they're gone. And this is why we have to get to know each other again, right? Because when we go through the ending of these cycles, we're reborn, you know, with death comes rebirth. And that's what's happening here. The worst of it is over. You've been through these challenging times, maybe many challenging times, um, many swords in your back, okay? But this time it changed you and it's changed you for good. And this is why you'll have to get to know yourself again, know your likes, dislikes again, and get to know each other again, especially if you're going to give this relationship a chance, right? So let's see where this is going. So that cycle of deception there um, is over. But let's see what is to come. The lovers. This is a very strong bond. And I guess this is why, um, you know, you're going to give each other a chance again. It seems heavenly uh, it guided here I was gonna say divided I guess that's true too you know um, heaven had to step in to stop this deception and give you this rebirth right so as well as being heavenly guided I feel heavenly divided is also true um, you had to grow individually as well here uh, as well as together and I think the opportunity is coming now to grow together now you have grown apart there you know, I did some other videos on relationships, so check that out. It's called Bad Relationships and things like that. I didn't really know what to call it, but it's talking about growth. And this tree here just reminded me about that video, okay, about growing in all different directions. So, yeah, go check out that video as well. It may be some help, especially if you want to give this relationship a chance, right? Okay, so this Ten of Swords doesn't mean when you get back together, there'll be no challenges because, you know, we all face these challenges throughout life, right? Without the ups and downs, are we really alive? Okay, so it says here, stand your ground with the seven of wands, okay? There may be naysayers, there may be people telling you, don't go through this relationship again. You know, there could be people telling you, all sorts of things right and against you here and you have to stand your ground on what you truly believe in and if it's this romance that you truly believe in go for it here be persistent keep going it says keep fighting with the seven of wands you'll overcome these challenges that you face okay um seven of wands being spiritual challenges so you've been going and learning a lot of spiritual lessons i feel um we sure have in 2020, right? All of us have. But yeah, we're growing. It's like this mass awakening here. Yeah, the star definitely seems meant to be with the lovers and the stars here. Okay. Um, I feel like you have to have to learn to express your desires to this person. 
um, you may feel like, you know, if we're just getting back together, I, I'm scared of, you know, tipping the future in the wrong direction here. But learning to compromise and, you know, dip your toe in the water again. This can even be learning to love again for some of you after a very bad deceptive breakup here. So maybe it's not with um, a particular person, but it's learning to love again all round, right? Like I was saying, getting to know yourself, your wants, your needs, your desires, what you want for your future. So you could be doing life plans and setting goals and things like that for your future relationship goals, right? Don't give up on love. Tests are not sent to make us give up on love or break us, but to make us stronger, in fact, here. Nine of Cups. And what you wish for here will be granted. These two wish cards coming together, it's saying... Um, your situation will expand. This is Saturn bringing expansion. So if it's to your relationship, it's coming together. Something you wish for. You may have just wished for love in general. You may have wished for a true love to be healed with the lover's card. Okay, because that's about healing a love as well. So it could even be a wishing for a friendship, right? And that's what we're seeing here. Your wish is being granted. What you desire now coming to fruition. So, you know, I often say be careful for what you wish for because you just might get it. Um, which can also be a lesson within itself, right? So, again, you know, now you've been through these lessons. Know what you desire. Know what you're wishing for. Be clear on what you want so that, you know, you can get it here. It's a good time now. We've all been through these difficult times that this good energy is coming in for us. We're seeing this all around. So yeah, your wishes here coming true. <clears throat> the fool. So if you wished for this new beginning, that's what's coming. But you've also got to take the leap of faith. A lot of people ask me, why isn't my wish or de desire manifesting? And I say, we've got to do the work as well, right? We've got to sometimes take a leap of faith. So if you're cross-watching for a Taurus, it might be that a Taurus takes a chance towards you or you take a chance towards the Taurus and then they take a chance by accepting, right? That's what's got to happen. Um, somebody's got to take a leap of faith here and trust that what's meant for them would never pass them by. Trust in your gut instinct that you're being led in the right direction and that if you jump, You'll be caught here. So that is a beautiful new beginning with the fool. I think sometimes it's on this seven of one. So some people may say, you're a fool getting in a, into a relationship at your age or for whatever reason. You know, you went through terrible things before. You're a fool wanting love again. So people could be saying those sorts of things to you, which need, where you need to stand your ground and say, I do want a relationship and that's what I'm going for. The Eight of Cups. So, again, this could be somebody who left reluctantly, it looks like, with this Eight of Cups in this deck. They don't look like they want to leave, or you may have left them um, reluctantly, or in search for that Ninth Cup. And this is somebody who's realising, you're my Ninth Cup here. Or you finding somebody who's your Ninth Cup. So you may have left some terrible things behind, but you're going to be rewarded with this destined love now with the star. Again, a chance for love here. Leaving behind what no longer serves you is the best way forward. Sometimes it's hard. And we see that here as well in this Eight of Cups that it might be hard to leave certain things behind. It could even be family members and friends. And maybe that's why you could be leaving or wishing for new friends. Um, it could even be children. A page of pentacles here, the princess of pentacles in this deck she's called. Um, but maybe having to leave children behind and allowing them to go off into life themselves, right? It's always difficult. Somebody here is reluctantly leaving, um, but they'll be back with the Eight of Cups, okay? I feel like this person feels some sort of regret and sadness when they left. 
it could have been a younger earth sign as well showing up like this who maybe ghosted you once they left because the princess of pentacles um, is either slow communication or blocked communication so they may have ghosted you you could have even reached out to them and took a chance and they rejected you and it's like they regret je rejecting you now so now they may come forward with an offer, which might be a small offer in the beginning with the Princess of Pentacles here, but it leads to something big and destined with um, this star card here. Four of Swords, you just needed to heal and um, take your time. You may need some rest. You may have a flu or a cold as well with this card. But the lovers indicates a return to good health. So if you are going through anything like that, not to worry here. Um, it shows that you, with a little rest, you'll return to good health. Um, this is somebody who was not making a movement. And like I said, could have ghosted you here with these two cards. It could have They could have blocked communication while they took the time out to see what they really wanted, right? And in the beginning, I guess you may have felt like you didn't understand it. But as you heal, you probably understand the situation or your destined path a little bit more. Okay, we wanted one card, but we got three. So let's see. Um, some of you might be dealing with a Virgo and needed to see that. We also have a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Cups. So <clears throat> some of you could have been thrown into a third party situation which sent you soul searching here on this lesson, right? You had to go within, learn to love yourself, learn to be your passion and your chosen um, life path and things like that, move into something more creative. Sorry, I've got my window open and somebody seems to be shouting outside now. So yeah, like I said, this can be many things, but I feel like it's, you had to go through this process to learn to love yourself again. It could even be like walking away from a mother figure, like I said, with the Queen of Wands. This, again, indicates taking action now, coming out of hermit mode. So if you've spent a lot of time in hermit mode, you now may be taking action to come out of hermit mode and ready to love again here. Good luck, guys.